it's that's on. off, right? It's yeah. on. It's, it's on, on now. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Our entrance antiphon. You have been buried with Christ in baptism, through which you also rose again by faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let's enter these sacred mysteries by recalling our sins and asking God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, it is you who gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to us through the word and through the sacrament that we might be strengthened in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead our cause at the right hand of our merciful Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made those who believe in you keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all of Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydia. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Ananias, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Lydia and Sharon saw him, and they all turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which means darkness. She completely <coughs> occupied, she was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in the room upstairs. Since Lydia was near Joppa, the disciple hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, please come to us without delay. So Peter came, got up, and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had while made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he had called the Holy Ones and the widow, he presented her to alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Let's respond to this reading by saying, How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How, How shall, shall I make, make a return, return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? me? How shall I make a return to the Lord and all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Okay. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? 
My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Great precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Come, I want to make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, your son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to Jesus. Jesus. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of the disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus said then to Peter and to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> if anyone has any doubt whatsoever about the real presence of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, when the bread and wine is consecrated, this reading and other readings in the New Testament should be a convincing argument that what Jesus says, he means. And it was in this context that he said, unless you eat my body and drink my blood, you will not have life eternal. This was too much for many of the disciples to, to take to heart because he was meaning what he was saying when he said, this is my body, this is my blood, and you have to consume it. If you want to have communion with me, communion with me and eternal life. And so many walked away. I can only imagine the price that we have to pay when we speak the truth. As Jesus just said in today's gospel passage, and to be abandoned and people walking away from the truth. How painful that must have been. And so what Peter says is what we say. We cannot live without you. We need that intimacy with you. We come to believe that you are the person who gives spirit and life. We make this act of faith, which is not on the human level, which is the spirit of the flesh. And so we now come to appreciate how inseparable it is for us to be a part of who Jesus is, to be in communion with him, to be in communion with each other, with one common faith. Unless you eat and drink the body and blood of Jesus Christ, you will not have eternal life. That's our faith. That's our sustenance. That keeps us together. That helps us to overcome any kind of challenge and obstacle that we experience in life. You can take everything away from me, but never allow me to be separated from you in communion by receiving your body and blood. So let us pray. Let us unite our hearts in prayers, raising them 
to our Father in heaven. So we pray for Pope Francis and all who minister in the church. May Christ's merciful love be their guide and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For an end to violence across and among the nations. May peace of Christ prevail in every heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the terminally ill, that they may find comfort in Christ, present among amidst them the suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who moved away from the practice of their faith, may the Lord enkindle their desire for him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have fallen asleep and the hope of rising again, may they be welcomed into God's loving presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your intentions that you brought to today's Mass that lies in the depths of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer to offer you our prayers, asking that you turn your gaze upon us and graciously answer our needs according to your will. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer. Wheat of the field, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, let it become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask to be pleased with us in the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, with Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us. He defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, O Lord, holy, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one body, with, into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Bless all of each other that sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. Amen.
our communion antiphon. Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for coming, and Thanks, God. God bless all those who participated in our Mass virtually. God bless you, and may you have peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.